The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. Once more into the breach do we go to your friends. As always, we like to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Yeah, throwing a curveball there today. Yeah, every once in a while. Got to be ready for it. Uh, what do we have going on today? Well, uh, as we start the show off, uh, we're up about four points. Uh, we were up maybe eight points on the S&P cash volume. Going to be light going into a three-day weekend. Normally, you see kind of a change or a sea change after the uh, three-day weekend. So, Tuesday is going to be a, a lot, lot more important than the last two days. Earnings out this morning kind of whiff. Didn't really make that big a difference. Uh, no big uh, change percent or two for most of the stocks. And, of course, really what we're going to get into is next week. Uh, what is interesting to me is how many stocks. Uh, we talked about one with a collar this week. And we're going to revisit that stock, but just how much I liked it because it had six days to cover. Um, there's some other ones that are super highly short. I'm in one. It's moving a little higher today. Uh, in the long-term newsletter uh, for the Tech Insider, I'm adding a new position that uh, I think is one of these ones that uh, really not too many people have heard of or even thought about. But I think it's one of these, hopefully, that... Uh, can sit on and, and be one of the monster winners, um, man, it's going to change everything. And uh, hopefully I pick the right horse uh, for that sector. Uh, other things going on out here, just uh, like I said, not much volume, 1.9 billion shares as we go in and start the show today. Uh, and that's it. we got a lot more to stuff to talk about, but uh, we'll have to do that uh, later in the show. And uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to uh, do out here. I forgot to actually do one thing, which is this. So let me get it started uh, while we do other things out here. And that's uh, the other things are the things that we do uh, kind of every day, which is start to show off a little bit of history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. It is history repeating. Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan speaking on the Economic Club of New York uh, imagines, uh, imagines an observer looking back in the year 2010, well, we're in 2016, that a future dweller, he says, might well conclude that a good deal of what we are currently experiencing was just one of the many euphoric episodes that we have seen dotted through human history. The next day, the NASDAQ composite, the bubble, uh, Greenspan probably had mine puffs up another 2.7 percent fast, fatter to 4,046, and uh, you just uh, just have to in uh, just have to uh, embrace the bubble. And uh, I don't know what else you can say about it other than that. And of course, by March, uh, the, the jig was up and the nose dick was headed down. I don't think you can say anything more about that. Uh, got a uh, email here. It says, uh, what's my view on Amazon adding a hundred thousand jobs? Uh, well, I don't know if, uh, you want me to talk about, is that good for Amazon or is that, what's that mean for actual retailers? Uh, from what I read that every time, uh, Amazon hires one person, that probably means that you're losing one and a half jobs in the retail sector. Uh, so that's it. If you're talking about what I think it does to Amazon, um, traditionally, investors have not liked it. 
when they add any kind of ongoing cost. Uh, most of their products have about a 6% margin, uh, and that's what they try to have. Uh, adding 100,000 jobs, a lot of people, I think, on Wall Street might be looking at it and saying, okay, you bought all these air planes, you bought 20 airplanes, you bought another 20 airplanes. Man, it just seems like there's never a time where you can just rake in that dough. Just make giant piles of it like Apple did. Why can't you do that, Mr. Bezos? So I think there's a little bit of those. Uh, the stock's been acting well lately. I haven't looked at it today. But uh, to me, kind of a minor bearish tint to investors and probably a minor uh, bearish tint to those people in the bricks and mortar and Walmart business. So uh, I don't know if there's anything you can say about it other than that. Uh, other things in the news out here. Uh, CVS announced, and I didn't see this anywhere reported. Maybe it was, maybe I missed all of them, but I thought it was the actually the biggest news yesterday. I uh, heard uh, our uh, friend uh, Steve Rhodes talking about uh, looking at the IVB going higher. I thought it did too. Uh, I got a lot of hate mail when I said that. So I don't know if there are a lot of people short. The IVB don't like it. Uh, we'll talk about it and look at the charts later. But when this actually started right into election season, I thought, does this CEO, does she need to have her head examined? She's the daughter of a senator, U.S. senator. She should know better. Was she paid off to do this, to make it look bad, uh, to fire this uh, business up, and it just all backfired? Am I overthinking of it? There are stupid people. And maybe you become a CEO being stupid if your father's a senator. Maybe there's some other reason why she became that. I, I, it, this baffles me. But it's always either you're either lying or you're stupid when you do something like this. And I still haven't figured it out. Uh, anyway, uh, CVS has probably put a mute point, mute point on the whole uh, thing with the EpiPen because they're going to do a two-pack with an auto-injector for $109.99. Uh, even the uh, uh, Mylan's EpiPen two-pack at $600. And, of course, the $300 is generic. Uh, and this is actually, I think, less than it was before this whole thing started. Man, I, I'm going to scratch my head on this one in the coming years. I would love to buttonhole this uh, CEO and ask her, and, you know, maybe have some kind of like a magic potion that meant people couldn't lie to you. Ask her what actually happened on this. Was she put up to it uh, to make a political issue for uh, people around her? Or was she just incredibly stupid? Now, apparently she's smart, book smart. Maybe she's just not street smart. Who knows? But uh, I think this kind of puts this whole thing to bed, at least for Mylan. And I can't think of that they're going to actually buy. I see a lot of people buying uh, the $300 generic version against CVS's $110 two-pack. Uh, oh, two-pack. How did he get back into this? Anyway, we'll see you on the opposite side of this break as we have a terrific and wonderful launch on Friday into a three-day weekend. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software 
software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, Takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. And we're going to go to Larry in Wyoming. I apologize, Larry. They uh, hallucinated that they told me that you were on the line. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Sometimes uh, I miss uh, it. Sometimes they yeah. just don't post it. So, go ahead. Uh, I had. I started with one question. I have four, but do what you can. I, I'm going to start with AMPE, AMPE, and tell me what your method of charting shows for this uh, basically biotech company with a well. It's great a it's a it's a penny stock first of all, right? Yes. Okay. Um, you know much about them? Well, they've got a, a protein that stimulates the um, replacement of cartilage between class four and less joint, and it, it works. I, I know people that have taken the trials in Denver, and um, they've had all you know kinds what, of... You know what hmm? trial that, you know what, uh, trial that is? How far along, which one? It's the final trial, yeah, stage okay. four. Yeah. Okay. So I can't tell if it's accumulation. I, I, in other words, it, this question relates to the others, actually, but do you see anything in this chart that says accumulation to you? Well, I like the last uh, one, seven days of this thing going sideways and even slightly higher out here. Um, even on the bad days when they pushed it down, the volume picked up a little bit. But doesn't seem to be a lot of people interested in this thing. Um, my my question is, uh, let's take a quick look at the balance sheet here, real quick, and see uh, what they got. Uh, total revenue. Okay, Zero. so the revenue is actually they got something going on. They at least got uh, some money coming in in 2015. I don't see anything for 2016 yet already. You know anything about that? As far as I know, it's not a revenue-producing company, really. They just have trials, ongoing trials at hospitals across America for their main product, uh, a cartilage stimulating. Um, it's a stem cell product. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I mean, they're showing something here. It's kind of interesting. I'm trying to find out here. Well, let me ask it another way. I'm trying to learn off you, Dave, because you make incredible calls. What would you need to see? To, let's say you it passed all your check marks for fundamental credibility. What, what would you want to see to know uh, if you should accumulate? Well, I wanted to see a big test of the 84 cents, which was the June 30th low of 2016, right? You got to 59 cents. The maximum yeah. volume within one half cent of that low was 302,000, right? So okay. to me, that was the buy back there as soon as it closed above 84 cents, right? Okay. So I don't know where you – are you in this already? No, I – I, no, I, I follow you know, with friends – I, if this I, if this thing if this thing is real, it doesn't matter. Um, that's right. You, you know a lot more about it than me. Uh, to me, when you look at these one dollar stocks and fifty cent stocks, I always look at them the same way, and that is a non-expiring call. Yeah. Okay. You don't go out and spend. That. You don't go out and put ten percent of your portfolio in one. You may put like one percent or two percent or something, yeah. and just. Trade it that way and just say, hey, this is a non-expiring call. I don't know when the news is going to come. When it comes for the percentage of money I have in it, I'm going to make it a big – I'm going to make a big score at least for the percentage. I'm, it's not going to be – compared to my portfolio, probably not the biggest winner ever because I can't put okay. that kind of money in it. Uh, but you know, to me, the way this thing's set up with uh, 10 days of going sideways out here, I think your next move is probably going to be to a buck forty-five and probably higher. So you oh, know, wow. if you get the good if you get the good news, I think this thing in one day, uh, let's say that news came out Tuesday or something, I think this thing goes to two twenty-five. So to me, I wouldn't mind s sitting on it. I have no idea what, how their trials are actually going. Yeah. But my my guess is that you go down to fifty-nine cents if the trials fail. And yeah. you probably get 250 out of this thing, 240, 250 out of this thing if it's got any kind of decent news out of it and uh, that says the Dave, trials work. And the, uh, the other question is uh, that wasn't that 59 cent low came in on <clears throat> light volume. Is that usual or unusual for? Is it you would think it would come in on high volume if people were establishing a place they wanted to purchase it at? No, 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 no. You got you got your high volume, which was on June thirtieth, right? The thing gaps yeah. down with tons of volume, right? Whatever the bad news was on that day, then the thing disc goes sideways and sideways forever, right? Yeah. So what you have on that is everybody with the weakest hands that are giving up on this thing does. Now, if oh. the volume continues to be big and you know you see a, a more volume coming in it means that those you're finding more people that are willing to sell what you saw here was i don't care what it does if it goes to zero i am not selling i get it okay okay I just, yeah that's related to the xlf question um i saw nothing in the chart the the fellows on options trading hour had a had a spread a short spread on xlf I mean, I see absolutely nothing in the chart. I was just curious if you did. Nope. Uh, this thing's done nothing but go sideways. And, you know, I'm going to say 75% of the time when you see something like this goes as sideways as long as this thing has, is that okay. normally it will try to take out a higher high. It may spike it. Now, you could kind of say that maybe that's what you did today, but I would have liked to have seen this thing go to 24, 24, 50 or something. And then come right. back and fail. I don't think this is enough on a light volume day out here to do much. So, and Dave, my last question is just how did you know the uh, major stock indices would, would trade sideways in this era of typical pullbacks early in the year? How did, I, don't, I don't see how you determined that. Is that on your chart package? Uh, it is not. It is something that uh, I kind of... Uh, just to have figured out from times where I've tried to trade and there was nothing that came out the other end, either being right or wrong, right? Just going sideways. Yeah. And I think uh, we'll, we'll go back to the way back, back machine 
We're going to go way back to January 3rd of this year. At least for the moment, I'm not looking for a giant pullback in the market, nor am I looking for higher prices in the market. <laughs> I think we're That's a little right. bit range bound for a while, and we're going to have to have something to bust us out of that range. And again, if you've, I played it longer, I would say that it's going to be <laughs> probably into earnings. Yeah. So um, now one of the things that you asked me, uh, I did answer yesterday. So I'm going to answer it again today in case we get people that, you know, do a no-no and don't listen to the power trading hour every day. Uh, let me find it here. I, I listen every day, Dave. <laughs> I think I, did I answer it yesterday or the day before? I, I think I talked you, about this. <laughs> we'll talk more about it when we come back. Can you hang on for a minute? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. We'll answer this. You can uh, call me also at 877-927-6648. We'll come back and uh, take a look at it and why. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, and Larry, you still there? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. You'll be there forever? <laughs> I'll be there as long as you need me, Dave. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, one of, the, the, one of the things that I gave was a couple of courses um, on looking at options and looking at what option market makers think is going to happen. 
Uh, and you can do it by just figuring out where the money's going to be won and lost. Uh, in fact, I, I had a whole course on it uh, and how you look at options. Uh, the problem is it doesn't work every month and it doesn't work all the time. So you got to know what it's telling you. Unfortunately, everybody to look at a number and they said, well, that number didn't come out right. But, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I, I wrote an article, I think in 2004 in Stocks and Commodities Magazine. So I've been doing this a long time and it takes a little while to figure out what you're actually looking for. But I put the things in there about the patterns and what they look like. <laughs> but what you have in options, if you look at up all the winners and losers on expiration day, is you, you should have some kind of curve, right? Some people call it an option uh, smile. And sometimes the smile is a little crooked, so they, called it, they call it a skewed smile. Uh, but you can actually use that, especially in bigger indexes like the SPYs, uh, to see where the buyers and sellers of options are because uh, they are the best traders on Wall Street. Uh, if they're not, they're out of business fairly quickly. So if you look at what they do, you'll see a lot. And I don't know how well you can see it on Tiger TV, but I've got the Februarys and the Januarys up. And the February or the Februarys look kind of standard out here in that there's a kind of a nice little V. Maybe it's a little bit more of a U than a V, but it's kind of a V. Uh, you've got the ones out here in February that are just amazingly flat. Um, I also call this pattern a little bit uh, a, a, a kind of a chalice where there's kind of a stem or a wine glass where there's kind of a, a, a there's a little bit more the curve does not go all the way down to zero and that's the money no matter what happens is going to be uh, lost right whether no matter what price it gets to there are enough puts and calls on either side being sold so when you look at this what normally happens is there's maybe two billion dollars uh, every every four weeks during expiration that just goes to money heaven, right? There's no way that anybody's ever getting that cash back. That is the premium that sucked out during the life of those options and it's all gone away. Well, we have almost none of, we almost have none of that for the January expiration next Friday. That tells you that they didn't make any big bets uh, anywhere close to the money. They didn't have any idea where it was going. Therefore, they're not gonna push it anywhere. Wow. They don't have any money to be made if it goes up. They don't have much money. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would really have to go higher or it would really have to go lower. So they don't know. I don't know. And then there's some more stuff. So that's the first part of it, that the right. option market makers are not making a bet, although they're making a much bigger bet in February. They're going to be down maybe 30, 40, 50 S&P points by then. Okay. Yeah. That's the first one. The second one is a scan I do every day. And I'm showing you my scanner, uh, previous high-low test, but I've got a bunch of scans that I do every day. And it's got ones in here that's got little marks, ones that uh, both prove the point, i.e. it tested a previous high or a previous low on higher or lower volume, and then whether or not those tests were uh, really bullish or bearish. And that goes into my model too. So I'm looking at a bunch of stocks. I see right now and since the beginning of the year and even going into the last part of the year, normally I'm going to have, at, when the market gets ready to move, I'm going to have maybe 100 or 150 of these things that show up. Either they're going to say that the market's very bearish or the market's uh, very bullish, one way or the other. We tested a bunch of lows on lighter volume. If I got 10 out here, that's telling me we got a ton of stocks that are probably more in no man's land uh, than anything else. We don't have everybody's back to the wall uh, out here. Uh, and I didn't think that the market was going lower because I do a, uh, a uh, scan every day that adds up all the short volume. And I know literally, in fact, I'll do that, show that here. Uh, Those creative. scans are not in your software package though, right? <clears throat> in the art of timing the trade chart, no, no, these are all things that I've written for myself. Yeah. Um, there's there's some reasons why I don't try to market it. Okay. Mostly, well, in fact, I had a, uh, I was going to do one called Nuclear Weapons for Traders. 
And I started talking to some statistics to some people that are my subscribers and their eyes kind of rolled back like the shark in Jaws and all you saw was the white. <laughs> and I, I said, you know what? I'm going to be sitting here spouting this stuff till the cows come home and people are just going to look at me like I got a third eye. They're not going to want to get in here. They're not going to want to spend six months or a year learning uh, the basis of statistics underlying my models. And, you know, you just, if I can come up with some easy way of showing it, I will. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot in the software. There's a lot that I do uh, on weekends and nights uh, that is just sitting there banging stuff against data and looking for overall uh, thesis in the market. And for those people that have, that are fairly new to TFNN or haven't listened to me, there's times when I've pounded the table, maybe a couple times a year, when I said that there is, the risk reward does not get any better or worse than it does now. And those are when I see in those scans, you know, 50, not 50, 100, 200 stocks, 300 stocks that have all tested lows on lighter volume or that have all tested highs on lighter volume. And normally you get two or 300 stocks like that, that's the indication for the entire market. Yeah. But if you get well, 10 or 15, yeah. if you get 10 is, or 15, is, go ahead. Is there some similar, like I, I know that you, um, you're basically calling for, um, I'm looking at the monthly chart of gold contract futures and um, <clears throat> you're basically calling for one more undercut low. Is, is some of what you're just describing regarding equities also applying to this commodity? Is that what you're saying? No, not so much. Um, okay. On gold itself, there's too many things going on uh, underlying the gold market. For me, to, I'm not making a big call. I just, I'm not rapidly bullish on gold, not because it's not going up. It's because I need to have a price that is so ridiculous to buy it that yeah. I know that I'm not going to lose, right? Or that it's not going to go down very much farther. And so, you know, I need to buy it you know, like 870, so I know I'm right. Yeah. Now, maybe it doesn't get down there. Maybe it goes higher from here. But it doesn't matter to me until retrace. I, can, until I yeah. can find absolutely rivers of blood in the street for gold, I don't buy it. Well, you're so not alone is, because there's, there's very credible uh, cycle and analysts out there that believe there's one more uh, we need one more on the monthly chart, one more yearly cycle down to complete, which would be the undercut. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I appreciate the phone call. You can be okay. like Larry from Wyoming and call me at 877 927 6648. Thanks for the call, Larry. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. 
Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And uh, first email of the day goes to Pradeep. Uh, he wants to look at NOC. He's got uh, puts to 30 out here. He's asking me what I think. And... Um, uh, he wanted to see this gap completely filled. Uh, man, you, you might get 225 out of this. I would probably, though, think that next week is going to be still up to slightly higher. think we're probably going to test uh, the... Uh, uh, I didn't even look at it today so far because it really doesn't matter other than the headlines out here. I think we're probably going to... You know, we're off 28 points on the Dow... I think we're going to hit uh, 20,000, you know, soon enough. And I would rather, if I was going to have puts next week, I would have rather seen we test 20,000 today. That we didn't test it makes me think we're still going to go up there and hit it one more time. And that would be the problem. So I don't know. I'd probably be taking my uh, uh, cash today. The downside is that normally – it's a three-day weekend, so you're going to lose a lot of premium out of those uh, come Tuesday. I'd, I'd taken the money, and traditionally, I would have taken that money if I was even thinking about it. I would have taken it before 11 o'clock today, before the uh, premium started coming out of it already. So that answers one for Pradeep. I had another one out here. Uh, is gold making an ABC down? Um, I, I hope it is. Uh, I don't see enough... Uh, evidence out there to say it is. I suspect that the way that the TLT is acting uh, may say that we got uh, the bounce that, uh, you know, was eventually going to come in the bonds. So then we go look at that. We go to the next thing to look at the dollar index out here. And the dollar index, uh, you know, got a little higher, 101.67, but it's kind of rolled down a little bit. So I think it's kind of indeterminate now. You could see uh, it move either way. I didn't like the way gold really moved um, up to noon. I haven't looked at it lately. Uh, but uh, to me, it didn't do uh, what you would think going into a long weekend. And so, I don't know. I, I'm i kind of uh, sanguine about uh, a lot of things. I don't have big positions on either way. I'm waiting for the next big move in the market to add my next position. And uh, it may be a little while. I think it may be uh, into next Friday or even into the week after that that we see everything. We could have a flat week again next week. So other than individual stocks, equities uh, that have a lot of short interest in them that I think are going to slowly move higher, uh, that's it. We had a phone call earlier in the week, and it was uh, for uh, TTMI, if I remember correctly. And that's what I liked about the, is it, yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it was on Wednesday. And 
uh, yesterday and today. Uh, this thing looked pretty good. Caller, I can't remember. Can't remember today, much less a couple of days ago. All I remember was that I wrote this symbol down. And uh, I said, I thought I kind of liked this thing, uh, that I thought that he was going to get 14 uh, 66 or 15 bucks out of it. Um, my guess is that you get this $15 test here probably on Tuesday. Um, but I liked it because it went sideways for so many days, but, but you still had six days to cover. I'm thinking that the market actually, if you wanted to do an average of all the equities I'm looking at out here uh, or the 10 type for it, it would be this kind of sideways movement for the last week out here. And of course, way too many people shorting the market. I said I would show you the, uh, this is my little app. It's not pretty or anything, it's just for me. But uh, I actually do a short uh, percentage move every day for the S&P 500. And that's what's in this one, all just the average of them. We've had two days with monster shorts and neither of those days were able to move the market and hold it down all with all that additional stuff. Those shorts are gonna eventually come out of the market, I think, before the market turns down. But on the fifth, we had 27% of all shares uh, traded, initiated with a short position. On the ninth, you had 30%. Normally, you got about 11 or 12 or 13% on a daily basis if you average out all the S&P 500. So again, I'm not real surprised that we don't see a whole lot of uh, downward action in this market. They've thrown everything they can, including the kitchen sink. The only thing they can do now, I suspect, is cover. And if you could get a nice move up with no volume, I mean a spike maybe to 2,300 on the S&P, maybe you get to 21 or 20, uh, uh, 20,200 or 20,300 on the Dow and just no volume, you know, that would be a much better indication that this market has run out of gas. But again, I don't see that. I don't have a lot of scans that are showing stocks that are at uh, extreme resistance points or uh, extreme support points. And, you know, you just have to kind of look at these things. Um, I have bought what I've termed in my newsletter the strongest chart I could find. I did that in the daily newsletter. I got that in the uh, Tech Insider uh, for one I've had for a few days. Uh, it's up uh, two and a half percent today. So a nice day for the one in the Tech Insider. The one on the uh, other one is uh, up about two percent today. So some of these stocks can move. A lot of them, you know, had good chart patterns, uh, tests of uh, previous volume on light volume. But uh, I got maybe two or three. I, now I got three stocks. So I'm not really uh, diving into the deep end out here. I suspect that we, you're going to have to really be a patient stock picker until we get into that uh, the depth of earnings. And that's going to be after a week from today when we really see the uh, inauguration over. Then we see the week of those earnings uh, in the last week of this month. And I think when we take it back uh, or we go back to that options chart, I showed you what the options guys really think. Uh, and that is that February or into that February or at least after this January options is when everything is really going to start moving. Now, they think it's going to be slightly lower. That's why I would suspect that you would like to a, see a spike on light volume and this thing squeeze out the weakest hands in the shorts. So hopefully that does. Mike from Toronto, how you doing, Mike? Hi, thanks for taking my call. Most Could welcome. Could you... Could you perform a chart scan on CNI? That's Canadian uh, National Railways. And what are you thinking about this? Uh, daily versus weekly. Uh, it hit. Oh, yeah, that's what I'd like to see. Um, yeah, it touched that trend line today, didn't it? From the underside. Well, certainly yeah. back up into the highs of September 22nd and November 25th of 2014. And uh, yeah, both of those 2014 highs out here. So you're back up to those. Um, oh, and on lighter volume, huh? Uh, so far. Could but you compare again, that to again, this is all about the price of oil, um, as far as I'm concerned. So if uh -huh. you can hold 50 bucks on crude, I think these things just continue to move higher. 
the railways. So mm -hmm. what I would probably do. Uh, oh, what, we'll, what's that downside we'll be back there after the break. Huh? Okay. Uh, the downside we'll be back after there, the break. Working. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And Mike, hopefully still on the line. Still there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um... At what price are you long this thing? I'm under the I'm under uh, averaging about sixty nine eighty US. Okay, so you don't have that much left out here, and you know your target would probably have been seventy three. Really? I think it would have if you're in it at sixty nine. No, no, no. I'm short. I'm short at sixty nine eighty. Ah, I would Average have been price, long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this makes it different. I'm long the I'm long uh, rails. So I don't, you know, unless you break under fifty bucks, it's hard for me to be short any railroads. Any oil under fifty. Yes. Yeah. It, okay. it, that's about the break-even point where these frackers and everybody else are moving back on. And any demand you take, even if it's from one company to another one, pretty much moves rates up for all of them. Mm -hmm. to some extent. So I just, 
I'd, I, you know, the way that I'd be uh, would certainly be short these is if oil does break. If it doesn't break, I I think you probably got 73 bucks in this. I am long uh, one of the railroads out here, and I think it's made one of the best signals out here. So, um, yeah, I'm yeah. going to be on the opposite side of the fence on you on this one. Uh huh. So, okay. now, downside to me, to me, where? Huh? Can you show me the downside targets here for C for Canadian National? Uh, it would be the would be to the gap uh, back here at uh, about sixty seven dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Would be your first pop, first which is uh, on the fourth. Okay. So, keep going. And what's the next one? Um. You had a lower yeah, target. I mean, that's going to be some very strong resistance right there, about sixty seven bucks. If you miss that, maybe you get 62. 62, okay. There's just a, there's a ton out there. Like I said, the only way that you can really make a case for this thing falling uh, off the, the side of the planet is if crude just crush, it gets crushed. And yeah. right now, I again, I'm not suspecting that you see, you know, it's probably going to play around in this $50 to $55 area, but you really need to see some kind of sign. And I think it's kind of a little overpriced, but I think it can remain a little overpriced for another month, maybe. Mm hmm Okay. So, to me, okay. uh, I to me, to go short, I would have to seen it test seventy-three bucks. Uh, at sixty-nine bucks, you're four bucks away from the September twenty-second mm -hmm. high. To me, until it tested that on a lighter volume, I would never ever pulled the trigger. So now that's just the way I trade, but. It's I don't were you looking at that seventy one ninety five or which what what did you go back um, did you see this previous high just a week back here on the eighth uh, of December is that what you were looking at Yeah it's it's in a channel it's in an upper channel and today it touched the the high end of the it touched the upper channel and every yeah. time it's done that it's it's bounced off and it's gone down and challenged the the lower bar the lower channel yeah. the lower part of the channel okay so. Um, well, on the eighth, you had about a million. Yeah, on the eighth, you had about a million shares. Eighth uh, of December, you kind of came yeah. through that on the fifth uh, with five hundred sixty-eight thousand shares. So that's uh -huh. not all that exciting. But you get nine hundred thousand shares on the eleventh. So uh -huh. you, you, to me, you kind of got a negation uh, of that pattern and not enough volume decrease on the eleventh, and uh, that makes it kind of tough. I'm going to say okay. thanks for the Thank phone you. calls. We're going to see you Tuesday. Because, of course, everybody's off on Monday. And uh, so when you can, not when you have to. And we'll see you Tuesday. Same bat channel, same bat time. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.